Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions Week 3. This video nearly did not happen purely because I've not been well this week and I'm now recovering from a cold so this is why this video didn't really happen but it is happening so guys I'm going to get straight down to this guys you know what to do. Give us a big clap thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So I've already got my predictions written down um, and the first game I'm going to kick off with is Arsenal versus Manchester City. Now Manchester City are, you know, a team in form. Arsenal just winning their first game of the season against West Brom away in the uh, League Cup. So both teams are, so I still say misformed Arsenal, and I'll go for a three 0 City win for that one. My next one is Aston Villa versus Brentford. Aston Villa. <coughs> Excuse me, what well, you know, I'm coughing and that. Um, Aston Villa to me are a team looking to get back into form after losing Jack Greenlish. Uh, you know, it's very much a case of you know, Rem getting used to playing now without Jack Greenlish. Brentford, on the other hand, doing okay so far in this league, um, still very early stages on you know, all these teams front. But I'll go for a 1 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton versus Everton. A game I should be attending, but probably won't, because as I said, I'm recovering from a cold. And obviously, I'm due to go to Wembley next weekend. And, uh, you know, unless I have a big recovery within the next few hours, I can't see myself going. Uh, but anyway, Brighton playing so well against Watford, winning 2 0, beating Burnley 2 1 the previous week after, uh, before playing Watford. Everton are doing okay at this present time as well. I think they drew last week. I can't, can't remember how I got on, but you know, it's going to be a really interesting game for both of these clubs. I'm going to go for a 2 1 Brighton win just about purely because of the fact of, you know, um, Brighton, you know, do play well at home and after seeing them against Watford, I think it might be a bit tough for Everton to come uh, down to the MX to get a result. Could end up as a draw though in that one. My next one is Newcastle versus Southampton. Newcastle to me are a team that is struggling um, from time to time. You know, uh, they have got a few key players out, they've lost a few key players as well in my um expectations it's going to be a really interesting season for Newcastle yet again signing Joe Willock from Arsenal earlier this window could really be you know maybe a step up in Newcastle's books but we're going to have to wait and see to see what happens in that one Southampton on the other hand losing Danny Ng losing I think they've lost no they got for a real cop yeah I think they got for a real cop um but you know Southampton doing what they do on a daily basis <coughs> and still manage to survive the Stanley League. So for that result I'll go for a 2-0 Southampton win. My next one is Norwich versus Leicester. Leicester took a big defeat away to West Ham again. I did cover during a live watch along. I might even do that for the Brighton game but as I said I'll very much doubt it because I'll recover from this cold as quickly as possible. But you know, keep best way to keep up to date by subscribing to the channel, hit your notification bell, because I might do it as a last minute thing. Um, but yeah, going back to the Norwich uh, Leicester game, Norwich, you know, doing okay, you know, with what they got. Fun lit tough, but I think Norwich always do in the Premier League. No disrespect to Norwich or the you know uh, Norwich fans or anyone like that. They just seem to really struggle. I'm expecting Leicester to come back on this weekend uh, win though and I'm going to go with a 3-1 Leicester win. As I said they took a big defeat to uh, West Ham on Monday night. I don't want to correct it this time round. My next one is West Ham versus Crystal Palace. <coughs> oh excuse me. Um, West, Ham, West Ham yet again beat uh, Leicester really hard. I think it was about 5-1 that game and you know fair play for uh, West Ham for doing that. Crystal Palace on the other hand, 
And the new management, Patrick Vieira. It could be a quite an interesting game um, between West Ham and Crystal Palace. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 result. A 2-1 West Ham win for that one. My next one is <coughs> Liverpool versus Chelsea. Liverpool, uh, you know, doing okay this start of the season. You can't read too much into this start of the season. Not the same as any season. Um, like the Brighton got six points out of six, uh, so I try not to read too much into the seed this early on in this season. Maybe a bit later on I might do, but for now, no, not really. Uh, Chelsea, on the other hand, you know, doing okay, playing, you know, wherever style they can. Uh, the likes of Mason Mount and that back in that uh, Chelsea squad looks very good this season. But as the game goes, I've gone for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Leeds. Burnley are, I think they won last week. I'm not too sure. Uh, Leeds United, I can't quite remember how they got on. Uh, Burnley did lose to Brighton the previous weekend before the last weekend. Obviously I know that, but I'm not quite sure how they got on <coughs> this weekend. Uh, last weekend, sorry. So, I'm going to go for a 2-1 league swim for that one. My next one is Tottenham versus Watford. Tottenham, to me, with Harry Kane back in the lineup, does look the real deal. Harry Kane is starting. Um, I'll, I'll probably think he will start this game on the Sunday, but, you know, it's going to be an interesting game, whatever way you do it. Um, so, I'm going to go for a 2-0 Spurs win for that one, expecting Watford. Feel the defeat a bit more to Brighton in this weekend coming up. My last one is Wolverhampton versus Manchester United. On the breaking news that Manchester United have just signed Christian Harder Ronaldo back from Juventus for around about 25 million, I'm led to believe. So, you know, big, big news there at Old Trafford, a big U turn uh, with Christian Harder Ronaldo signing back at United. But going forward to the game, I don't think he's registered in time to plan this game. Tommy's done his medical and everything he needs to do. Going up against Wolverhampton side that I haven't really paid much attention to over this past few weeks. Obviously, I'm trying to get stuff ready um, for you guys as well. So I'm trying to pay as much attention as possible. Can't even remember who will play if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I think it might be Tottenham. Yeah, it's Tottenham, I think. I think they lost. Did they lose again? I'm not sure, but I think they lost to uh, Tottenham. As far as the result goes, I'm going to go for a 3-1 United win for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Sorry if I sound a bit off. As I said, I'm trying to recover from a cold. Hopefully be heading up to Wembley um, next weekend. Keep it on my channel. I might be doing a watch along to the Brighton Everton game. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Good to have a big fuck time and enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.